Hi everyone. So I am fresh out of the shower. <laughs> I have my wine here so that I can have a little company <laughs> and a little treat while I'm doing my hair. And this is freshly washed. So I'm gonna explain to you what I'm going to start doing. So this is freshly washed hair, as I mentioned. I am going to rev air my hair somewhere between five and seven. It kind of depends on the day, but I'll kind of show you what I mean. I am going to rev air it first and then style it, if that makes any sense. It doesn't make any sense and it's going to look a little weird until we get to the end. <laughs> How freaking ever. Stay with me. Okay, stay with me. So I'm going to start from the back here. If you want an updated, not an updated, but a little review on my experience with the rev air, let me know. I'm happy to do it. I've had it for over three months now, probably about four and I am obsessed. So usually, okay, so this is one eighth of my head in a section. So I usually split this in half and then I'll rev air a section kind of about that size. Let me show you, let me show ya. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of split. I'm gonna put this up and rev air a section about this size. That's just kind of what I prefer. So yes, I have my rev air and I'm gonna just go ahead and go. Okay, so we're about halfway done. And this is kind of what you want it to look like. So as you can see, this is not straight. Like it doesn't look like a, it looks blown out, but it, it's not completely straight and poofy. You know what I mean? It has a little bit of texture to it, like little kinks. That is exactly what you want people. So yes, that's where we are. Like I, I'm about halfway done and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. If you do not have a red air, that is 1000% fine. You don't need one, just use a normal, blow dryer and do a tension blow dry. So grab the hair like this. I mean, don't hurt yourself, but just take the blow dryer and with varying degrees of tension and you should have a similar effect. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I will be back. Okay, so I'm halfway done here. So you can kind of see the vibe, right? It's coming <laughs> together, but we're still not done. So I'm gonna show you what I did as far as the product, the only product I've used, I have nothing. I washed my hair and I had no styling products except applying to the ends. This inner sense I create hold. It is a very, very freaking expensive gel. This is $26, but it's just the best. Period, it's just the best, just FYI. So pop this up so you can see. So I have my strand here. I have about this much. I may need a little more and I just apply it to the ends so that they're defined and not stretched. And it's all gonna come together to appear to be a big fluffy <laughs> wash and go. And this kind of looks like, I mean, I don't know, maybe it doesn't look like a lot of steps, but it comes together really fast. I don't have a lot of dry time and it's a vibe. It's basically like what I used to do. I would wash and stretch it, but I'm stretching it first and then defining because A, I feel like I use a whole heck of a lot less hair product and B, it dries so much faster and C, it's fluffier and lighter to the touch, which I like. And I find that it just wears really well throughout the week, better than a blowout and like better than just a blowout and better than a normal wash and go. I don't know, for me, it just kind of works. I love it. I don't really have to worry about it. I sleep with it really nice and easy. I can work out and you know, with no problem and it's still gonna look good for the entire duration of the week. So that's why I like to do it this way. I've been liking to do it this way recently. Okay, last bits here and again, to show you, I just literally put it on the ends. I like that. As Tabitha Brown said, like so, like that. That's what I do. And then one more. And then the front, like the pieces that frame my face, I try to, you know, kind of go a little bit higher to, you know, again, frame my face. Let me go ahead and do it on the other side. So. This is that. I'll be right back. Okay, so this already looks pretty good and pretty fluffy, but to even give it more of that wash and go look, I'm gonna take my diffuser. You know, use a normal diffuser. I happen to have the Dyson and I'm going to diffuse my hair. 
it's because it's a little bit wet, you know, on the end. So I'm just going to make sure it's fully dry. That said, because our hair was already dry going into this, it's going to just take a minute or two, like at least with the Dyson. Two, three minutes all over and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, so literally that was a minute and 36 seconds. So as you can see, with diffusing it, it kind of made it look less stretched and more, you know, wash and go. But yeah, you know, it's kind of like a magic trick to me. It's like you get some stretch and some length, but you still get like a wash and go look. It's fast. Um, it dries quickly. It wears beautifully throughout the week. And, you know, because as you go outside and you live your normal life, it's like the humidity, you know, gets to your hair, the workouts, all that. But it wears really, really well. And if you want to see how I sleep with it, let me know. But literally, it's just I sleep with like a loose bun on the top of my head. It's easy to sleep with. And that's about it. I don't really do too much else. Um, I really like this gel on my edges. So what I might do is squirt a little bit in, slick my edges back and like sleep with a scarf like that. But that's it. Like, you know, she looks great. And honestly, I love it. I love it.